All right, here with Jeff Garvin at OAC Media Day. Jeff, how you doing? Wonderfully. It's 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 great. Great yeah. day. Absolutely, and uh, I'm very honored to represent WHEI TV10 and you as our sports information director. What does this day mean to you here in Canton? It's a, it's a cool day to to honor the student athletes. It's it's having it here at the Hall of Fame is so much better than having it at at a hotel banquet hall or or any place else because the, the tradition that's here at, at, um, at in, in the at the Hall of Fame student athletes get a chance to look around and right. and, and see all the memorabilia and. and uh, Coach Hallett and, and Austin were laughing at some of the practice gear that was on display in the conference room upstairs, and just you know, you guys complain about your practice pants now. Now you look <laughs> at this, so it's it's a neat day to have it here, but it's also a cool gathering to see the the, the conference come together. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, we're all friends today, and you know, Saturdays in the fall, it's not so not so uh, amiable, but uh, you know, here today, it's it's a nice way to get together. Absolutely, it's a great way to kick off the season. And then, if you can explain to us, because everybody gave their sports information director a shout out when the coaches went up, if you could explain to us. What exactly you do as a sports information director, and uh, why it's so important? Uh, sports information is is a, it's a fun field because it's interacting. My job is to publicize and promote our student athletes, the things that they do on the field, the stats, the uh, the, the, the the game recaps, the pictures uh, off the field, student athletes who are excelling in the classroom or volunteering in, in the community. Uh, my job is to make sure that people know about that, whether it's right. via Twitter, uh, the Berg Athletics Twitter, you know, hashtag Berg Pride, that kind of stuff, but also online, um, in newspapers, and interacting today with uh, newspaper reporters from Cleveland, from Canton, to help get our student athletes known. Um, it, it benefits the student athlete, but it also benefits the university. Absolutely, yeah, especially when we have so many uh, students doing things like uh, Al- our Austin was with SAC and the Special Olympics and all that, so work is much appreciated, but I want to talk to you about the rule changes. Um, as Sports Information Director, if that has any effect, um, talked about the targeting below the knees, but have you seen the targeting the quarterback, and they said there's emphasis on that, play a role in disqualifications or anything like that as you travel with the team? Uh, it, it's they know about us so far in advance that they're able to coach and you know, make sure you're tackling here make sure you're tackling there coach Hal and I goof that and you have about a four inch window that you can actually hit the quarterback <laughs> where he just pulls flags out or two hand touch below the waist but um, I don't think it yeah it affects the game but the same way that adding the forward pass affected the game or uh, changing different rules it changes the game but people will adapt people will adjust um, for me as a sports information director I, it doesn't matter to me I'm still going to put the stats in and if there's a penalty I'm going to put the penalty into our stat system, and so it doesn't affect me too much, but uh, I think the guys will be fine. There might be that one hit, and they think, ah, you know, I, you know right. and they'll learn, and everybody will adjust the way they play the game. Absolutely. Well, Jeff, thank you very much for your time. No problem.